other games do characters disintegrate when they in die? Every sixty-four like every, game ever. Like every old game ever, right? Every sixty-four yeah. game like, ever. Like they just dematerialize. They turn into par like little bits and pieces, and they just float into the wind, and they just just die. They just die. The next stock is a miracle that the guy's still alive. So now we have a uh, Smiles versus Titman. Yep, we're going in. So so this is Ooh. this is always Ooh. a great match. I like, like that. Oh Andy my God, Timon, you saw that? Oh, the style, style going the in right style now. Right now. He's like, oh, I got time. Timon's going so I time. in. I got time. So Ganondorf <laughs> has some amazing punishes on Fox. That is true. But at the same time, Fox has, <laughs> has endless amount of tools to get into Ganondorf before he even has and a chance to up. put out a hitbox. Fox really just wins. I feel like Fox wins neutral against Ganondorf. It just. Fox is so much more mobile, and that's just key. That's simply just the answer. Ganondorf does have a lot of lag behind his moves. Yeah, I mean, he's at the starting for of the his most move, part, and all of Fox's moves come out faster. And you have to consider Fox falls from the air to the ground really fast. He, all his his run speed on the ground is second fastest in the game. He's got a really good wave dash, a really good startup dash. Yeah. He's just overall the most one of the most mobile characters in the game, if not the most mobile. You know. So really, against a character like Ganondorf who has to put up a wall, you can just get abused by Fox. Like, unfortunately, however, I don't know. I, I kind of disagree with Smiles' uh, like allowing him to have Yoshi's. I don't agree with this stage. I think this is the worst against Ganondorf. Why would you say that? Oh man, because there's no place to run around. <laughs> there's nowhere to run away. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> yeah, there's. You, you just like in your face the whole match, and that's not what you want. Like you want, like Ganondorf. You don't want to give Whoa, Ganondorf a lot of Did you see that? Though. Yes, I did. The invisible ceiling. The invisible <laughs> ceiling, my dude. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was the invisible ceiling, my dude. I don't know if it was intentional, but that man, was, did it look cool. That was weird. That was weird, right? Because he got back there and he went weird. straight down. That was crazy. I love that. So I it figured out like, how it, it actually happened. It looked like he happens. went to an angle and then down. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's, I wasn't it's sure very strange. for a second. It's I looked away strange. from the screen, and I'm like, hold on. And you're like, did you see that? I'm like, yeah. Now, that, definitely, you now that you mentioned it. It's definitely it a very a strange funky. maneuver. Uh, so you already know, sequence. guys. Versus Gaming Center. If you want to see Pompano the invisible ceiling. If you want to see the invisible ceiling. <laughs> if you <laughs> this is the place to go. <laughs> yeah, invisible ceiling. Uh, we taught a bait everything. You should check <laughs> you know, out we, our stream. We do have a Luigi. and We, we just do have a Luigi. It. He hasn't been here in a while, I don't uh, think. He was here last week. Holy oh, reads upon oh, reads. That was that. brutal. And that then he so wave landed pretty. and just gets right to where Fox is and punches him. Oh, come on. Bro, come Timmin on, is, come Timmin on, is looking smiles. unstoppable right now. You know, like, like, Timmin, just, up smash. Timmin just ran, probably just ripped through the entirety of loser's bracket. And here he is to put smiles in the dirt. Ledge dash Smiles, into you got up this, smash. Dude. Ganondorf is waiting. He's trying to bait you in so he can fade back with fares and. Yeah, uh, near the end of that match, I saw Smiles getting pretty antsy, going for a lot of nares into Ganondorf shield. Not very well spaced or anything. Got a lot of shield grabs. Got a, got hit by a lot of out of shield moves. It's it's not it's not a good look. You gotta you know you just little, this, stage, this stage this stage I like I love this stage against Ganon because without the platforms he's like half as mobile. And because he's half as mobile, and there's all this horizontal space for Fox, which is clearly the, mo the f one of the fastest horizontal characters in the game, you know, d side to side, rather. You know what I'm trying to say? He's just fast. He's very mobile in, in most aspects. But, but Timmin so doing he a just good job of keeping, oh my God, what keeping the heck? Fox out. Oh, that was scary. I didn't want him to... Uh, oh, yeah, but, uh, uh, up smash like a quarter ways into the stage? Uh, I don't yeah. know. I mean, he low, expected the up be right into the stage, like upwards, so... It would have reached if you went for that angle, but that's like a very specific angle. So I could see your qualms with that. My qualms with that. Qualms with that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So Smiles, yeah. he really just has to dance around Ganondorf, wait till he opens himself up. Ooh, that was good. Not gonna kill though. He's gonna. Okay, he still has a double really jump. He has to be scared of that. And that should be nice. Start. No. Ganondorf is a. Uh, Nah, that's Seriously, that's actually made of stone. He, <laughs> he went. He he's, went he's legit. Just like he, <laughs> he's a brick. He, he was. He was. He's a golem. He was gar carved out of stone, <laughs> brought to life by the Gerudo. <laughs> yeah, he, I'm lying. I'm lying. None of this happens in Zelda, but that's what it feels like when you fight Ganondorf and you hit him with your strongest move and he lives at like 150. You're just like, come on, dude. Come on, bro. You must be kidding me. You gotta die sometime. Your time is now. We all and gotta I'm die here to sometime. deliver it. <laughs> Everybody dies. Full, full Some just smash tears right through you. <laughs>
Oh my god, oh, the I roll behind. Trying, I was trying to take some Nas lyrics. Ooh, yo, the yeah. smile's special. I love that maneuver. Yeah. Oh, oh, and he, oh, he calls it out. He's like, he's like, hey, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this one. It wasn't even that he was waiting. Again. Is that that fade back? He didn't hit ledge. He was trying to ledge oh, cancel up there? towards the end That's of it. That's it. Ledge. <clears throat> I, yeah, but as I was, the, the run past, cross up a uh, forward oh, smash in the other direction is so hot. I love that. Yeah, only it's it's way cooler. Off. Huh? <laughs> Only because you play. Mark. I mean, a sort of, but I love it on Fox too. Uh, I, I I just think it's funny because Fox utilizes it way better than Falco because he's so much faster. Even though Falco's got the infinitely better F smash, it's just funny to me. Ooh man, this is just a just a brutal stock right now. He just took 100% without attacking really much onto Fox. Timmins got to get like this kill immediately. Ooh, oh, jabbed his shield one too many times. Come and on. Up smash out of shield on that jab. Yeah. Proving to you happen. that I guess it just isn't safe. I mean, I, I thought it. I thought it was. You thought it I was. Thought it was honestly, it's like, because it's Ganondorf's fastest move. Yeah, so. he probably didn't space it very well, to be honest. Correct me Spacing if I'm wrong. That should be Ganondorf's fastest move. Oh, right? oh my God! You saw Smiles. That was so fresh. Smiles can be very technical when he wants to be, but I swear, sometimes he just like doesn't go for the for the easy stuff, and he chooses deliberately to go for the hard stuff. It's like it's almost like he's showing off, like, dude. Look how much I think I'm that's gonna, part of his mix-up game. It, it might it might just be like I bring it up every time I commentate Smiles' matches, and it like it irks me to no end. But like he's still like he's still really really good regardless. Like he does he does the things he does, and he still wins. So it's for the <coughs> match. Yeah, I think I yeah. think it's just part of um just the way he plays. Yeah, I think just it's just part of his game. Yeah. He wants to make sure that he's not predictable. He wants to like uh, mix up his flow chart. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure that he's not easily readable. So yeah. for that reason, he it makes chooses sense. different options. It makes he chooses sense. different options, even though we might not see them as optimal. They uh, <clears throat> it works they, for him because yeah. Yeah. Well, we're I mean we're not sitting there right now playing that match, so we don't know what's going on between the between the minds of these two players. Now, but perhaps this Miles is what I'm must know if way, Fox, way, way, way. If Fox gets in and uh -huh. puts the right amount of pressure, oh my god, this isn't good. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Oh, oh, goes for the low. Oh, but the yeah, up smash covers the roll up. Down tilt. That was beautiful. <clears throat> that would have been really pretty if it would have landed. Oh, man. Trying to get him Ooh, off the Ooh, the ledge. shine, and that's going to be it. That's oh, and he goes for the back air. Not sure why. He can still make it after this back air to the ledge. That's the risk you run when you throw that little up air um, to cover a, Ooh, the ledge. That was such a uh, smooth. Trying to catch that, that shine spike of Fox. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Fox should be dead here. Yeah. Reverse up air, and that's going to be it. It was a hard up air, too. And the best part is that even if you hit him with the weakest ending part of that up air, it would have sent him way farther down like a spike-ish move. What, the double shine? No. So, <laughs> Smiles is sitting tired. there like double shining and um, and, and Tipman just gets on stage. So, mm -hmm. so he ledge dashes and and ledge cancels right back to the ledge. Like literally yeah, within, yeah. Pixels, like, within, like within pixels, pixels of yeah. the... Within pixels of, of uh, Fox's shot. It was, it was yeah. beautiful. It was it's really, pretty really crazy. Pretty. Just shows. It was saying, oh, I saw that. It's like one of those, you know, I'm going to overly commit to <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, no, I saw that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, Tipman, no. No, no slouch when it comes to tech skill. This guy's very, very slick with his movement. Which you really kind of have to be with Ganondorf. And I mean, there it is again. It's, it's, it's Oh, yeah. So I probably mentioned this earlier today when Talk we saw me. Fox versus Captain Falcon. Okay. And I said Fox's forward smash is the do-all end-all versus Fal Falcon's recovery. His forward smash. His forward smash because it okay. covers. Even if Falcon sweet spots the best he can, forward smash will cover it. Regardless of how high or how low he goes, forward smash will cover it. And it will send him back off stage. You can't tech it. And now I just remembered that Ganondorf has... The same For forward almost, smash. Almost the s no, Ganondorf has pretty much almost the same recovery. Regardless, I mean, yeah, obviously he falls slower, so he has a little more leeway that way. But, okay, you know, Fox's forward smash is still going to be a deciding factor in edge guarding Ga Ganondorf. So, ooh, that was so fast. And you saw Tipman was sending out that punch, the forward air. Like, and the backer just slipped under him just before it came out. Oh, oh. no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Oh, but he gets it anyway because okay. Tipman, out of shield, he short hop down airs. And that's going to be the stock. That is the stock. We're looking at the last stock Smiles for Tipman right now. one stock right now. It's yep. a big difference. Oh, reverse jab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reverse jab. Oh, baby. Tim is Yo, just I trying love to those bait him out. He's just trying yeah. to bait him in. He's yeah. like, come on, come on. You saw I those wavelands? You, you want to get so overly aggressive? Come he's on, like, he's like facing in. him, and he's like punching him, and then he just like wavelands back, jumps in, wavelands back, jumps in. Does that? Look at that, look at that. 
but he was doing it so fluidly earlier, like like ten seconds ago. It was so it's so cute because he just needs Ooh, to take this stock. He needs it's gonna to be take brutal. Stock to make it. Yo, uh, this is, this could be big. Oh, oh my God, no. no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Not like that. Not like that. Ooh, double Not laser, like double laser. Smart, smart. Up throw. Oh no. That what, the stock. dude? No. I didn't know that existed. Or maybe I did. I just forgot. And the falling, even that falling up. Ooh, dash attack to punish the down tilt. Good reaction. <laughs> yo, Timmins, so, he's yo, just, he's, he's just feeling like, himself he's, on the ledge. Like, dude. I could care less right now. Oh, that would have been an up smash. No. That would have been the game. Up smash that would have ended the set, but instead, and that back air is gonna, gonna, he's gonna do right this back there. air. Boom. And is that it? it? He can still make it. No, that's it. That's he can still it. make that's it to the ledge, I guess. It. That's it. All right, that's, that's it. it. That's Good it. stuff. Two yo. smiles, taking it over Timmins.